They say they speak for the silent majority. They certainly found their voice today. Love Scotland, vote no was the mantra. At this, the last big pro-union rally. Politicians shared the stage with campaigners, real people with real lives, like trainee surgeon Vicky Gregg, who spoke out for the NHS. I would not be here today if it wasn't for the lies I've been told by the SNP. They're telling it to every one of us. Please welcome the one and only Gordon Brown. Comedian Eddie Izzard compared, but the star of the show was the former Prime Minister. He delivered a thunderous speech, his voice faltering more than once with emotion. The vote tomorrow is whether you want to break and sever every link, and I say, let's keep our UK pension, let's keep our UK pound, let's keep our UK passport, let's keep our UK welfare state. And this message to those he feared may be swayed by pressure from the pro-independence movement. Tell them that Scotland does not belong to the SNP. Scotland does not belong to the Yes campaign. Scotland does not belong to any politician, Mr. Salmon, Mr. Swinney, me or any other politician. Scotland belongs to all of us. The only answer for Scotland's sake and for Scotland's future is vote no. The audience lapped it up. The Yes campaign has become well known for being for shouting the loudest and being the more vocal. See, I do think we, I think we have needed something like that. The silent no majority must stand confident tomorrow, must go to the polling stations tomorrow and put an X in the no box. Where was all this passion two months ago, six months ago? Look, in a, in a two and a half year election campaign, you know, the passion inevitably grows. And as we get closer and closer to polling day, it's not surprising that that passion continues to grow. It's a bit late. But it's, it, the, it, the polls don't close until 10 o'clock tomorrow night. The Yes campaign could never be accused of a lack of passion. A sea of blue and white in central Glasgow once again today. Campaigning in the rather more benign setting of a nursery, the deputy first minister gave nationalists this rallying call. Get out there for the remaining 24 hours of the campaign before polls open. Uh, make sure you are engaging positively, respectfully uh, with the Scottish voters. Uh, treat everybody in this campaign with respect. And if we do that, I think, yes, we'll win. Now the talking is all but over. The ballot boxes went out this afternoon. The whole country is holding its breath. Martin Geisler, ITV News, Glasgow.